Mark, you ready? Yep. Going to L.A. for 15 days to see my girlfriend. I'm looking forward to it, giving me some breathing space from Shauna. I met Mary through a friend just before my release. I've spent 18 years without being in the presence of a woman, without being able to hold a woman, and I am in love, and I'm just thrilled to be going to California to meet her for the first time. Well, I'm kind of sorry for what's happened. It seems like, you know, we've had continuing problems, and I don't appreciate you know, people on me. Over the last couple days, we've had a tremendous amount of turmoil. And any kind of interaction between us and Bill seems to have a lot of tension. He's making things really tough in this house. What happens if you meet Mary and if you have problems with her? What problems would I possibly have? Yeah, I mean, you haven't even met her before. I don't think it's going to be any problem between me and Mary. We're compatible. We've agreed to put God first, period. That's it. That's all that's important to her and I. I don't know why Mark and Shauna seem like they want to keep me down, but no matter what it is, whether it's my happiness over Mary, my happiness about being free to eat whatever I want, crush, 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 crush. All they're trying to do is discourage me and everything that's making me happy, making me feel alive again after so many years in prison. I'm getting pissed off. I don't want to hear it anymore, man. All right, Bill. Mary and I are getting married in uh, Sacramento. I'm shocked to hear that Bill is getting married when he goes to California. This is someone he's never met before. It's very much a fast relationship, and it seems pretty dysfunctional. Well, how did this happen? Did you ask her to marry you, or? We already, we already figured this all out. We, I have my plan. She wants to get married, so I have my plan to propose and surprise her, but the wedding is already set. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you the date. You, you guys missed your, your chance to join us in our happiness. I'm not trying to hold you back. I mean, you may as well go to California. You may as well get married. You may as well leave our house because it's really awkward most of the time right now. So you want me to leave the house now? I have to have this on my mind when I'm going out of town. Maybe you should just go. You know, you'd be happier with with your woman. F me off, f me up emotionally, and I don't want to f hear it. You're the one. Just use my language. You pretend to be a friend, Mark. That's not what a friend does. I'm pretty much sick of hanging out with Bill. He's just not good company. For a while there, it was fun. I was watching him see new things for the first time. But at this point, it's become just really taxing. Dear Lord, I ask a blessing on Bill and his flight and a blessing on Bill and Mary. The travel pass says I have to, you know, come back here. This is my home. Hopefully, the dust will settle. Cooler heads prevail. Not likely with these people. And I just ask that, Lord, you give Bill um, peace in his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Enough. I did 18 years in prison, and I'm blessed to be alive. I'm blessed to be out of prison. I'm blessed to be in love with Mary. She's a wonderful human being. I am so happy to be in California to be with my lady, and I'm just ignoring all of Mark and Sharna's petty texts. They continue trying to contact me and rob us of our joy and our happiness. But I'm shooting lots of footage for social media so that maybe Mark and Sharna can look at it and see what true happiness really means. Now I don't have to worry about not being able to eat lobster at Mark and Sharna's. Living it up, living it up. Traffic was a mess, oh, huh? Oh, my gosh, it was a nightmare. Oh, how are you? It's good. good to see you. Alicia's our friend. We've known her for more than a year. Your house looks great. Thank you. She's involved in prison ministries, and so um, I've been talking with her about some of the problems that we're having with Bill. 
Mark and I really right now need some guidance on what to do, so she's agreed to come over and talk with us. Well, I Wait. dropped him off at the airport. How does he have money? Um, I don't know. He, he doesn't talk about money, really, so. For someone who doesn't have a steady income, Bill doesn't have a hard time funding this lifestyle. He can fly to California on a moment's notice, and he's often eating out at restaurants. He has a car. I don't even know where that car came from. And yet he doesn't have any money to pay us back for everything that we've bought him so far. Does he pay bills here? Like, not yet? He hasn't paid anything yet. He hasn't paid a single dime to help with utilities or food or transportation, okay, honey. rent, nothing, so. You better watch the burgers, we better head out. All right. It's been a while since I've seen Mark and Sharna, and I almost want to be like, called it, because <laughs> I've been calling it from day one that this is BS, but wanted to support my friends in understanding that this is something that they felt called to do, but it just sounds like a big haywire drama fest that didn't need to happen. Veggie burgers. Do you do veggie burgers? I do. OK, good. Yeah. So did he go see Mary? Yeah. He popped it on the way to the airport. He said um, he is getting married when he gets there. But we're not invited. If he got on a plane to go see his girlfriend, it's probably the best place for him to be, and he should stay there, because this isn't working out. You've done so much, and you've done your part. Isn't this? I feel we have. So, like, you don't really owe him anything else at this point. Yeah. True story. He hasn't gotten a job that has brought any money in. Right. He's not showing any type of initiative. He's latching on to people. You know, but he's claiming that I have a crush on him. And he said he had video to prove that I've been in lingerie, coming downstairs and knocking on his door when he's gone to work. Like, bull, he doesn't have anything like that. I don't own any. She doesn't even own anything. I doesn't, don't even besides own anything. Full length, you, you know, you very I mean, modest. Like, I have summer pajamas, oh, but they're I, modest. I have no doubt in my mind, Sharna, that you're modest. I have mm -hmm. no doubt that you took this into consideration. But what happens next, guys? Mm -hmm. Like, what's next? Why not change the locks and be done? Well, we have that option, but then there's going to be accusations against us that we um, tape tampered with this stuff, and things are going to be missing, and then we're going to have to answer for that. What? A ramen noodle? I mean, no. what, I mean, what, what's going to be mm. missing? He has a computer, it's... a telephone, stuff that Mary sent him, sent it back. And no matter, he's going to have accusations. You're going to come out of this in the negative anyway. He's not going to walk out of here blowing kisses. Yeah, I'm ready for that, really. So all it is is one phone call. I do feel validated that Alicia, you know, has some of the same concerns and even more than what I have. I know what I want. I want Bill gone, but I won't make a decision on my own if Mark is not united with me. This should be a no-brainer, guys, honestly. Mark is a very smart man. He's very in tune with God, and I know that he's going to do the right thing. So what do you guys want to do? I just want to find out you know, for sure what, what would happen if we kicked him out. I have a friend we can call. He's in law enforcement. All right. Okay. All right. I just don't know how to deal with Bill. I'm conflicted because I would really feel bad if Bill was kicked out and he ended up homeless or at the mercy of a state. And yet, day after day, I feel disrespected and it's, it's really beginning to wear on us. I don't know what to do. Who's your friend, Alicia? He's been in uh, community corrections for a long time, um, so he has knowledge on what we're able to do. Hello? Yes. Yes. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. You? Good. So I'm here with my friends, Mark and Sharna, um, who sponsored an individual um, that was in prison. And safe to say, things are not going as planned. And so they're looking to end their sponsorship, potentially. OK, so they need to call the individual parole officer that's supervising him and let him know that um, he's not welcome to stay there anymore. Um, do you think that there's, that there's a chance he would end up stuck homeless in the Elkhart area then? No, Indiana will not have anybody transferred that is homeless. It's a violation of the state policy. 
So the situation like that, that state will issue a warrant to guarantee that he goes back to his home state. Okay, we sure appreciate your information. Thank you so much, friend. Appreciate it. All right, have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. I think having Alicia over has helped Mark and I really put this whole situation into perspective and realizing that just because we agreed for him to come here that he doesn't have to stay here. Well, I think you guys have all the information that you need in terms of what you need to do. And now this is something that the two of you can pray about and figure out, but I don't think it's something that should wait. Yeah, I don't know if I... I don't know if I can leave a guy out, out, you know, maybe... You're putting your family at risk. At times, I'm seeing things clearly. I should kick him out, and yet I know that I, I feel the sympathy for him, that I don't want him to end up in a really bad spot. Honey, based on what he said last night and accusing me that I'm running around in inappropriate clothing and knocking on his door at night, which is all lies, I don't want him here anymore. I feel like Mark is being hindered by guilt instead of seeing that he needs to protect Sharna. And I think Sharna is not saying, I want Bill out because she's afraid to upset Mark. Instead, Mark needs to kick him out because you can see that his wife's uncomfortable. And that's where his main concern needs to be. I just can't make that kind of decision tonight. Yeah, we'll take it to the Lord. He'll show us what we need to do. Heavenly Father, we have a lot of things that we need to discuss about our future, about Bill's future here. Lord, we need your wisdom. I pray that you would help us to know what we are going to do with Bill. Lord, you know what the answer is. We just need you to show us which path to take. I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. After 18 years, I am finally free. They're just out of prison. I'm about to take an inmate in to live with me. You have your list of rules. What the hell did I get myself into here?